Hey, comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring you. That's right, everybody, comic book haul week number 102. This week was a heavy week with comics, so be prepared for a lot of comics to be shown. So with that being said, let's just jump right into the haul. I am excited about a few of these comics, so here we go. The infamous bag is back, finally. I'm in the garage because I can withstand the temperatures today. We un take off the bag. The bag goes away. Here is the stack of books. Here we go. We're starting off with DC Comics Green Lantern in a New Guardians issue number 27. I am not excited about this whatsoever. However, I keep reading it in hopes for the Green Lantern series in general overall uh, to get better. The last story with the Green Lantern and Guardians was absolutely horrible. So hopefully this one is much better. So this is Green Lantern and the New Guardians, issue number 27. Next is a book that I am highly anticipating, and this is George Romero's Empire of the Dead, issue number one. Uh, definitely looking forward to this. Uh, this looks like kind of a le legit, real zombie book. I mean, look, look whose name is on the title. Uh, so this will be one of the first books I review on my channel this week. Uh, again, because it's one of my highly anticipated books. Uh, look forward to this very soon. Cover's pretty awesome here. You got the zombie with his head. So pretty cool. Empire of the Dead, issue number one. Next, we have a favorite from mine. This is from Image Comics. Uh, this is Chu, issue number 39. Uh, here we have Agent Chu's girlfriend, um, and she's sitting there eating one of those like weird plants. Uh, so, and it says "Eat More Greens," which is pretty cool. Uh, John Layman writes the book. This is an awesome book. I, I say it each and every month it comes out. Uh, if you're looking for something different, Chew is that series. So this is Chew, uh, issue number thirty-nine. Next, we have probably my least favorite of the tie-ins from Cataclysm, and that is Cataclysm Ultimate Comics X-Men, issue number three. Uh, this concludes this tie-in series for this event. How our X-Men will survive this swarm, I am not sure, but in this last issue, we got to see Pixie, who possibly could be dead. I don't know if that's how it ends off. But it looks like she's going to bite the dust. So this is Cataclysm Ultimate Comics X-Men issue number three. Next we have, for Batman fans, Batman Zero Year issue number 27. Pretty cool cover here. It looks like Batman's infected with that disease from Dr. Death where it breaks your bones and it's like trees and everything like that. So interesting cover. I am going to be honest with you. I'm kind of bored with the whole zero year story. Um, I wish we would kind of move forward with this, uh, get the Riddler back in play, see where this is going to go uh, and move on with, with this Batman series. I think this is Kind of long at this point and a little bit drawn out, but of course I'm going to stick with it. I'm not I'm never would drop this series as long as Greg Capello is on here and uh, Scott Snyder. So great stuff here overall. Next was a lot of people underestimated this book, and when they read it, they were like, "Wow, this is pretty good." So this is issue number two of the Black Widow. That's right, everybody. This is a, a pretty cool uh, cover here. Um, yeah, Black Widow in uh, Natasha in her like black ops gear. She's got the flippers on. She's got the goggles on, and she's got the the pistol in her hand. So uh, I really like the cover here. It's like great espionage type of stuff. So uh, Black Widow issue number two. Hopefully, it digs deeper into her character. Um, next is a book that 
I, I'm going to see where it goes. And this is X Factor, all new X Factor issue number two. Wasn't a huge fan of the first issue. Uh, this is going to keep determining if, uh, you know, this issue might determine if I continue uh, reading this series or not. Because there's a lot of titles. There's a lot of stuff coming out in the next few months. This April is going to be crazy. Um, so this is really going to, you know, might make or break for me. If I don't like it, it's going to be dropped. Next is another highly anticipated book. And that is all new X-Men. The Trial of Jean Grey, issue number 22.1. Um, so this is that crossover with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, definitely looking forward to this. We've been seeing this for a long time now. like the cover here of all the young X-Men and uh, our Guardians of the Galaxy on there, as well as Gamora. Uh, is Gamora on there? Yeah, she is on there. And Angela. So uh, great. I can't wait to read this. I'm hoping that it's good. Next is a new number one from All New Marvel Now, and that is All New Invaders uh, issue number one. Um, James Robinson's the writer. Steve Pugh is the artist on this book. Uh, I looked on the inside a little bit when I was at the comic book store. It looked nice. Now, is the story going to be uh, appealing? Is it going to be interesting, or is it going to be drawn out or boring? Of course, that's still yet to be determined, but... We'll see where it goes. I'm definitely going to give it a try and uh, I pray that it's good because I'm hoping that all new Marvel Now will be better than Marvel Now. So, Next from DC Comics is another highly anticipated book that I'm looking to read this week and that is Harley Quinn uh, issue number two. Uh, the series for the first issue was really fun. That zero issue was really fun based off of this cover here too. Uh, it looks quite interesting so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing where Harley Quinn goes as well. Uh, hopefully I'll have uh, enough time to do an individual review on Harley uh, and uh, I pray it's just as good, too. And it's funny how Suicide Squad is being canceled uh, as soon as this series is coming out. Everyone's like, all right, I'm going to follow Harley Quinn now, not Suicide Squad. So great stuff. Uh, Harley Quinn, issue number two. Next, we have uh, another book that I'm really looking forward to. It's a great week for comics. Is The Walking Dead, issue number 120, uh, All Out War. Uh, nice cover here. You got Michonne holding the katana. You have uh, Negan squaring off against Rick. It's like they're getting ready for some boxing match. I really like that cover. Uh, what happens here, I don't know. The last issue we got to see Holly, uh, she was transformed into a zombie. So somehow, some way, uh, Negan or his boys killed Holly and uh, he he planted a bomb within that community there because Holly wound up biting the doctor and setting a chaos within the community. So, uh, again, can't wait to read The Walking Dead, issue number 120. Next, we have from Marvel uh, the Superior Spider Man team up, issue number nine. Now, if you guys don't know this, this is the prelude uh, to. Goblin Nation. So, I uh, highly suggest you guys, if you're looking to read Goblin Nation from Superior Spider Man, pick this up first. This might give you a little bit of an insight of what's going to happen there. It might catch you up on certain things that maybe you've missed by reading Superior. So, I uh, love this cover though. This cover is really good. It's got the Punisher, it's got the Daredevil on there, and it's got Dr. Octopus arms, and it's got. Um, a scorpion's tail on there. It's got rhino's husk. Um, who else has it got? It's got um, Craven the Hunter's uh, like vest or whatnot. So there's pumpkin bombs there. So this is a really great cover. Uh, highly anticipated event that's coming up. This will be reviewed, guys, on the new Comic Frontline channel. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to that, please go ahead and subscribe to that. Um, I will be doing reviews on that channel as well. Uh, its official launch date will be 2-11-14, uh, but we're doing pre-stuff you know, stuff on there to build up some subs on there so uh, people can get excited for it. So this will be reviewed on Comic Frontline, so check that out when that goes up. All right, next we have from Marvel, we have Origin 2. 
Uh, here you can obviously see you got Sabretooth on the cover. The first issue was really interesting here. Um, you had uh, Wolverine living in the wild, you know, living with wolves or whatnot, and the lone wolf had this jewel in his head and it reminded you of uh, Mr. Sinister. Uh, so uh, this is going to be weird where this actual series goes. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, I like the cover here. Not as good as the first cover, but we're going to see what Gernon Gillen provides for us in Origin 2, Issue 2. Next, we have Forever Evil, Justice League, issue number 27. Another tie-in here. Uh, looks like this one has to do with Cyborg. I think they're trying to get Cyborg back online, uh, getting him new armor and whatnot because he was destroyed. I think that's where we left off with the Justice League's tie-in. Uh, Forever Evil has been very good. The Justice League tie-ins, JLA tie-in, uh, they've been solid tie-ins to the series. Uh, may not be so necessary uh, to read if you want to read Forever Evil, but I highly recommend it. You'll get much more out of the story that way. So this is Justice League, issue number 27. And next we got a few back issues. Uh, the first back issue I got was Fantasy Masterpieces starring the Silver Surfer, uh, issue number 14. And then this also has Plus, The Strange Death of Adam Warlock. So that's on there. And Spider-Man's in there too. It says, sooner or later, it had to happen. The Super Battles, Spider-Man. So Spidey was on it, so I said, hey, why not pick it up? So I picked that up with Cole. Next we have the double-sized annual Web of Spider-Man issue number one. Uh, interesting cover here. Not sure who he's fighting. It looks like War Machine or Iron Man, an old version of Iron Man. I'm not quite sure there. It's got some boy on there with robot arms, so I'm not exactly sure. Uh, what's going on, but I like the cover because the cover's almost like that original issue number one of Web of Spider-Man with this border or whatnot. So, uh, yeah, excited about grabbing this one. I didn't, I haven't seen this book in, in a long time. I'm interested to see what this one is about. And then next, we got another double-sized annual, and this is the Amazing Spider-Man issue number 19. Uh, really excited to get this. I got this for a dollar. The, the book is actually in good shape. It's nice cover. There's no creases. They just happen to have a few of them there. And, uh, so I picked it up. It was a dollar. Love the cover here. It's just like, hey, it's a bird. It's a plane, but it's not Superman. It's Mary Jane. And, uh, I love this cover. Great, great to have in your collection if you're a Spider-Man fan. So, there you have it, guys. So there is the haul for this week. Um, again, the beginning of the week, we start off with the haul. We'll have a few reviews uh, for some individual books. And by the time we get to the end of the comic week, around Monday, I think this week, uh, you will see the countdown. So stay tuned for those videos up and coming. And then again, you can go to Comic Frontline uh, to check out that Superior Spider-Man review. So guys, there you have it. As always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. And until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Take care, everyone. Enjoy your comic week. See you soon. Bye.